Good morning everyone, my name is Ben. I just wanted to make a quick video today talking about the price of growing your own vegetables versus buying at the store. So I want to talk about three different kinds of vegetables today. Tomatoes, sweet potatoes, and lettuce. And there's a lot of other ones that we could talk about, but these are the ones that I found on online and I want to talk about really quickly. So the question, you know, can you grow cheaper than the store or is it cheaper to buy uh, your produce at the store? It depends. I'll say these days, it seems like it's a lot cheaper to probably grow your own stuff, but you know, you have to take some more time. Um, it's not the, the, the nice thing about the store is if you want to go get uh, sweet potatoes for dinner tonight or tomorrow or this week you can do that whereas you know you grow your own stuff it's gonna take a while um, so with that said I looked at a few prices start with tomatoes so I'm um, looking at Kroger uh, which is a chain that we use here um, so Roma tomatoes for example just re regular Roma tomatoes a buck 39 a pound if you grew one plant of Roma tomatoes, you, you, say you get 10 pounds, um, that'd be about $14 worth at the store, plus tax, be 15 bucks. So again, you probably would be able to save per tomato, but it depends how many tomatoes you've got, um, how many plants you have, how many you're using to cook with, if you're doing canning, um, and you need a large volume and you're not growing as many or you know there's a lot of factors in here but so a buck 39 a pound um, not too bad I did look at organic not organic sorry on this one heirloom tomatoes they're 349 a pound so um, those Romas are, are I don't know what the variety is probably a hybrid of some kind uh, but if you wanted to grow heirloom tomatoes, there are three forty-nine a pound at Kroger's. That, to my knowledge, doesn't include Romas or paste tomato varieties or cherry tomatoes either. These are kind of like beef steaks. Um, they look they look like brandy wine maybe or something like that. Um, but three forty-nine a pound, you think on these larger tomato varieties, you can get anywhere from half a pound to north of a pound per tomato. Say you get even five pounds per plant. That's Seventeen dollars and fifty cents. I can't do math. It's early, uh, so decent amount. You, you, I mean, you're talking fifteen to twenty bucks worth of tomato production per plant. But again, you got to wait a while, right? You don't get tomatoes like that. So something to consider. Um, and the others here. So I, I want to talk about sweet potatoes real quick. Sweet potatoes, I actually feel like, are pretty cheap at the store um, for for how much you can get and how much effort it takes to grow them uh, and time it takes to grow them versus just buying them at the store. So this, I was looking at organic uh, red sweet potatoes. They're only a buck fifty nine a pound, which you know, say a, one potato is a pound on um, big potato. That's still pretty cheap. Uh, I, I think you might get you know multiple sweet potatoes off one plant um, and probably I mean I, I think I've seen some videos where people get you know 30 40 pounds of tomato or sorry potatoes off of one plant which is awesome and in that case you know you you could end up with fifty dollars sixty dollars worth of sweet potatoes in that regard but again you gotta fly in here got to do it all it's going to take all season right it, um it's it's not something you can do on demand if you don't have a use for that many sweet potatoes uh you got to consider that as well um but you could take one of these grow slips and then you could have a ton of plants and a lot of potatoes for for the price of one so you got to think about that too um non-organic I, the cheapest one they had was a um, 99 cents a pound which if you know you want to go that route that's really really cheap so as far as um, you know having enough food uh, uh, for a low amount of money I, I think that's pretty solid and, and sweet potatoes are pretty nutritious too so they're good um, now I want to talk about really quick the last thing is lettuce 
So romaine lettuce in particular, um, you know, lettuce doesn't take that long to grow. Depending on the variety, I mean, you could be talking a month and a half and have nice lettuce. You could cut it and harvest it and still have the base there so you could produce again. Um, so th that is definitely a shorter growing season. With that said, one head of romaine lettuce right now is $2.59. That's not organic. Seems reasonable to me. Um, but, you know, when you get a pack of, of lettuce seeds and you sow them, you're getting hundreds of seeds. And even if they don't all come up for some reason, you're, you're for that price, you could be growing hundreds of heads of lettuce. But again, and you have to wait, even though it's a shorter time, you gotta wait a month, month and a half, two months, depending on the variety. So something to consider there. The organic is more, but uh, right now, and this is June 29th of 2023, it's only 339. So, um, so all good stuff to consider, but hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.